Hey everybody, welcome to So Awkward. It's me, Don, and I'm here with the second Pro Wrestling Crate. A wrestling-themed mystery box brought to you by the people at Pro Wrestling Tees. Let's check it out. You're watching So Awkward! Freddy Krueger saying hi! Pro Wrestling Tees, of course, is the website where uh, various wrestlers sell their shirts. And I think they, they get like a, a significant piece of the pie, so it's cool to support them. And the designs are really cool. I don't remember what this theme is for this month. Last month, the first month was Chicago. And if you watched my unboxing last month or another unboxing I was kinda lukewarm on it I thought it wasn't great but it had potential to be great so I'm hoping that this month will be better I'm on the two t-shirt plan so there's two shirts in here uh, and you can go you can get one shirt two shirts or three shirts I think anyway let's check it out I didn't get all the tape <laughs> You really, you really need three pieces of tape, pro wrestling crate people. The more tape you put on these boxes, the more it ruins them. But I guess it makes them more secure. I never know what to do first. You do the shirt. Everybody always saves the shirts to last. But I've got two shirts, so let's start with a shirt and then we'll end with a shirt. How's that? All Heart, Ohio made, JG, OH, the King of Cleveland. The whole shebang. I don't know what it is. I don't get it. Somebody from Cleveland. Uh, who's from Cleveland? Dean Ambrose is from Cleveland, but this doesn't look like Dean Ambrose. Or is, um, no, he's from Cincinnati. Where's Dean Ambrose from? Is, um, Dolph Ziggler from Cleveland? This isn't Dolph Ziggler either. The whole shebang. All hearts. TRD, JG, I got nothing. I'm a WWE guy, born and raised. I don't know all this indie stuff. There's all, there in the last box there was some indie stuff, which is cool, because I'm I'm learning about it through this box. But it's it feels this is a really soft, high quality shirt, and it's a neat design. I just I don't know what it is. All right. Uh, oh my gosh! Look at this. I got a Mick Foley cap. Saint, it says St. Mick, and there's a, a picture of uh, Mick Foley, the great Hall of Famer, uh, former champion. It goes with my Cesaro shirt. I love it. Let's, what do we got here? We got a pin. Uh, Johnny Wrestling. Pro Wrestling Crate exclusive collector's pin. Johnny Wrestling. In the shape, I think it's, is that the shape of Ohio? Is this an Ohio theme? Is Mick Foley from Ohio? Ohio? Why would that be a theme? But anyway, Johnny Wrestling, who uh, uh, I believe that's Johnny Gargano. Is that his name? Who's an NXT guy. Uh, and if I don't know if you watched this weekend NXT TakeOver. Was it Toronto? But he and his partner, whose name I can't remember, I apologize, won the NXT Tag Team Champions. And the match was maybe the greatest match I've ever seen. It was pretty awesome. So that's cool. And they had this thing in the... This must be just be in every box. It's a Pro Wrestling Tees magnet. It's a steel chair. Got some kind of towel. SBJ. I don't know what that is. I've got a whoopee cushion. Earthquake. Is that the old... Uh, Heel from WWF Earthquake, and this is this is a little, this is a whoopee cushion. Okay, I've got an Earthquake whoopee, whoopee cushion. Sure, that's fun. Wrestling Road Diaries three funny equals money now available at ColtMerch.com. Cabana Kataro Grotto. I don't know what this is. It's an ad for something. Wrestlers with the same name. Brought to you by HighSpotWrestling.com Wrestling Network. This is the DVD. 
hosted by Corey Franks. John Morrison versus ACH. Aerostar, best friends with, I don't know what this is. C Cedric Alexander versus Johnny Gargano. The Kevin Steen Show with Johnny Gargano. That's Kevin Owens, right? Um, I don't know what this is. It's a DVD of something. There was a DVD in the last box, and I still haven't watched it. Of some indie stuff. Probably really good. Before the shirt, there's another print. Last month, uh, I got this print. This autographed print of Bobby the Brain Heenan, which is pretty sweet. Let's see what I got this time. And we've got... Uh, something Mundo. Adam Mundo. Adam Mundo. He's, he's got a great body. <laughs> I don't know who he is, but he look he looks like a wrestler. He's not up there with Bobby the Brain. Yeah, I'm not gonna hang up this picture, but if you're an Adam Mundo fan. Then you'll be an Adam Mundo fan. All right, let's check out this T-shirt. What is this? Young Bucks. Young Bucks. I don't know who they are either. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really. Uh, I know who Mick Foley is. Does that get me anything? I'm not. I'm not really big on wearing uh, shirts with skulls on them. Because I feel like it doesn't really fit with my uh, personality. You you wear a shirt with a skull on it, you're looking for trouble. But it's that's all right. I don't know. It's cool. Again, it's soft. I'll wear it around the apartment. And that's that's it. All right. And then here's the thing that explains what all this stuff I just got is. But the theme is like this was uh, wrestlers with the same name. It's everybody named John or Jack. All Heart Johnny Gargano shirt. That's what this is. I like Johnny Gargano. I've seen him in a, a few matches on NXT. Which I'm not a huge NXT guy, but I watch the takeovers, and he's been very impressive. And he was he did really good. I watched the Cruiserweight Classic on the network, and he was great. If you had gotten on the three shirt plan, you would have gotten a Jake the Snake Roberts T-shirt. Missed out on that one. That would have been cool. Okay, so the towel is Big John Stud. Remember Big John Stud? I remember Big John Stud. He was great. I don't, I don't know about the towel, but I like Big John Stud. John Morrison, a.k.a. Johnny Mundo. I know John Morrison. Is that John Morrison? He was in WD years ago. He was cool. He did, like, uh, parkour or st stuff like that, right? He was, he was pretty cool. I'm still not going to hang this up. John Tenta, Earthquake. So his real name is John. And I guess he farts a lot. He was certainly a fat guy. And then we got this because uh, Mick Foley was also known as Cactus Jack. And he's famous um, for loving Santa Claus. I don't know why I know that. Maybe he mentioned that. I think I read one of his books. I actually listened to an auto book. I listened to one of his... His book's on audiobook. I think I was on a road trip or something. I can't remember. And he loved, he's he got a, a Christmas room in his house or something like that where he dresses up like Santa. So yeah, that's Pro Wrestling Crate number two. I like, this was better than the first month, for sure. I like the hat. This is fun. And I live in Minnesota, so this will come in useful. I like to have hats. Uh, the shirts are actually... I'm not a huge fan of this one. I don't know who the Young Bucks are, and I don't, I don't want to wear a shirt with a Terminator skull on it, unless it's for the Terminator. This one's cool. I thought it was like, don't tread on me, you know, that old flag, like Ben Franklin inspired or something, but it's Johnny Gargano who is, is the bomb. Yeah, I don't know. I'll check out this DVD right after I watch the DVD that came in the first box. So yeah, I don't know. This one is this this is decent. This is decent. I think in order my caveat for pro wrestling crate, and I knew this going in, um, you have to like the indie stuff. You can't just be uh, a devotee of WWE, which is what I am. I wouldn't call myself a devotee, but 
I grew up on WWF and morphed into WWE, so I don't really know all of this stuff. I know Big John Stud, <laughs> but this one is more WWE than the first box, or at least NXT. But anyway, so yeah, so if you're if you're big into indie wrestling stuff, this is the box to get because it's. it's I mean, I'm not going to say this was a slam dunk, <laughs> but two shirts and a cool hat and, you know, uh, uh, this. It's, it's all fun. It's fun. Yeah, I like it. I might, I might, I might, I'll give them till December. December better be amazing. Um, if December is just, you know. But this this month this was pretty good. I liked it. Check them out if if you're an indie wrestling guy and you like any like pro wrestling tees. Thanks for watching everybody and um I don't have a I don't have a catchphrase to say. Bye.